Hey guys, we're gonna be making a zesty ravioli skillet today and a wok. Yeah, woks are not just for stir fries. We're making a ravioli skillet and it's gonna be delicious. All right, here's the beauty. Our stainless steel nonstick wok has really nice high deep sides. It's going to be nonstick inside. I'm just preheating some oil in here to get the garlic going. Yum! Part of the gluten-free ravioli is the sauce that's melting right now in the pan. So part of the magic of this recipe is adding some cream to the ravioli. Help add a little bit of fat, a little bit of de depth and texture. Mmm, look at these high sides on this ravioli pan. Yummy. That is what makes the wok good for making a skillet ravioli. And then, my favorite part to any ravioli, fresh spinach. It says to add four cups, and it seems really intimidating, but once you add it, it wilts down to almost nothing, and it just adds all those extra vitamins. So let's add our fresh spinach to our ravioli, and we're gonna cook that until it wilts down for some extra yumminess. See, all that spinach is now just incorporated with that ravioli. We're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna remove it from the heat, so take it off the hot grates, and then we're just gonna Add some Parmesan cheese to the top. You could add mozzarella, Asiago, fresh mozzarella, whatever you'd like, and just let the hot ravioli melt that cheese. Mmm, perfect good. skillet, gluten-free ravioli. All right, so just making a fresh tossed salad with this. A couple pieces of garlic bread for the boys because Annie and I are doing the gluten-free thing. Um, and that's it. Super, super simple. It actually probably would have taken me half the time if I wasn't videoing it for you. So we're really looking forward to tonight's dinner. Yay for ravioli in the skillet.